seems that no matter what happens, I'm still a trans person. Yeah, but I wonder, is that is that a part of by your own design? I mean, a lot of people I speak, speak with say that you trace a lot of the slings and arrows that you face back to your transgendered status, when in fact, this might be about Jennifer McCree, human being, and not Jennifer McCree, transgender person. But could it be that you, you, and with all due respect, could it be that you just rub people the wrong way? I think that's a very fair uh, question to ask, and I think the answer is yes, absolutely, that plays a role in there. Um, I think part of the challenge for me and all trans people, I mean, you go on social media and follow any trans person, you're going to see a lot of them in an angry mood because they face so much oppression, they're not taken seriously, it seems we're always having to put our foot down, stand up for our rights, and argue, and because of that, I may appear to be more angry and nasty than perhaps I really am. You you were critical of me to the point of posting a video about me on YouTube. As a matter of fact, I, I may have under, underestimated the reach of YouTube because I'm surprised at the number of people that have mentioned to me. But uh, and you know, I guess it, in a stretch, I found it a little mean spirited. But I'm a I'm a big boy. I can take it. Oh my goodness! Yes, he sure could. Uh, hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. Today is April sixteenth, two thousand fifteen. I believe it is the 16th, 2014, gosh, I don't even know what year it is. Um, that was me and John Furlong on the radio last year having a little chat. Uh, I uh, c called out the media and called out John and he wasn't going to have any of it. He brought me into the studio and he asked me all the tough questions and uh, he gave me everything I deserved. But he, he found a way to do so in a respectful and, and professional way manner and uh, it was brought to our attention that John passed away this morning at the age of 63 due to cancer and uh, this has got to be one of the most saddest and heartbreaking pieces of news um, for me all year I mean he was amazing at his job he knew exactly what to do and what to say um, he found a way to dig in to the controversial issues and ask the questions in a careful manner that would expose the issues in a blunt way but uh, I mean look at that he basically said Jennifer you're an asshole and uh, I couldn't help but just look him in the eyes and smile and say yeah absolutely you're right and uh, I'll never forget that moment um, the, the actual topic of that interview was uh, me dropping out of a political race and that interview went over so well that it, it re relaunched my campaign and put me on the map. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, John. Um, you're a real asset to St. John's Newfoundland and uh, to Canada as, as a broadcast journalist and talk show host. Um, every minute we spent on the radio chatting, I loved every minute. Um, nothing but respect for you and your great work. Um, I'm totally heartbroken that uh, that you're gone and I still can't quite believe it and uh, sending my thoughts out to um, your family, your friends, your your colleagues with CBC and of course all of your loyal and faithful listeners uh, you will never be forgotten. Rest in peace buddy, love you.